Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we would be learning the data-driven testing in the Postman. So let's begin. In Postman, you can make your APIs data-driven by importing external CSV or JSON file. Okay, and we need to pass or we need to provide that file in our collection runner. So open the collection runner and see where we can actually provide our that external file. So here we have different options and this is the data option, okay, where we need to provide that particular external file, okay. So once we will provide that file, it will execute against the multiple data, okay. So in one of the previous sessions, what we did is that we created an employee using this create employee API. Now, in that particular API, we provided a payload so that we can create a user. Okay, now what we need to do is that we need to create multiple employees with the different data. Okay, so for that, what we need to do is that we need to create a data set and we will use that data set in the collection. Okay, now what you need to do is that open any notepad. I prefer to use notepad plus plus. Okay, open this one. Now create a new file here and what we need is that we need to create a CSV for different data. Okay. What we need here is that name, salary and age. Okay. So I'm giving name, comma, salary and age. Okay. Now I'm creating our first data here. Testing. Okay. Salary equals to 15,000 age equals to 25 creating another data here test okay giving salary as 25,000 age as 30 okay now what we need to do is that we need to save this file as a csv file okay and i'm saving it on the desktop and i'm giving the name as data driven data driven csv okay and we need to ensure that we have to save this file with dot csv extension okay else it will save as a text file save this one here the file has been created okay now what we need to do is that we need to provide this file okay let's go back to the postman go to the runner here and now what will we do is that first we will select the collection okay i'm selecting this particular module where i have to create employee okay i have to select the environment now i have defined two data sets in the csv file so this means that i have to run two iterations so i need to select two here click select to select the file this is a data driven file here okay the good thing about the postman is that you can click on the preview and you can see either you have created a correct CSV file or not. So here it looks very good. Attention one, attention two. Okay. Now just click on uh, run. Okay. Click on console. Just go to this first post call and I need to show you something here. Okay. So here it's sending some other data. Okay. Similarly, if I go back to this post API and if I go to the request body here and again, it's sending some other data, right? It's not picking up from the CSV file and it's look strange because we have provided our CSV file here. So now what we need to do here, how our CSV file knows that where this data needs to be passed. Okay, we haven't pointed our API to the CSV file. Okay, so what we need to do is that here in the payload, okay, what we need to do is we need to pass the variable. Okay, and this is really simple. Uh, this provide name, okay, and change salary to the salary. We use the salary option here, okay, and then here we have to pass the variable called age and double curly braces 
okay just save this file okay now go back to the collection runner okay and now we will run that again okay just click on the retry here and now you will see the new and updated data here okay and just before that just clear this one so that you don't mess up with the other api request click on retry again and that's done just click on this post one okay select the body so now you can see that the first data has been populated in the first request and if i open to the second request and open this request body you can see the second data the test one and the second one was testing one okay so that's how you can make your apis data driven using the csv file now we will create a json file here and we will utilize that json file to make our apis data driven okay just open the notepad okay click on new here you have to provide the large brackets here okay and here what we need to do is that we need to define our data provide two curly braces here in these two curly braces we will provide our first data and similarly what we will do is that we will provide our second data in these two curly braces okay so let's define our first data here okay what we need here is that we need name okay then we need to provide the name as our first data now what we need to do is that we need to define salary okay and i'm giving it as 16000 right now okay then we have to provide the age here and i'm giving the age as 26 okay now copy this one so that we don't need to write it again and paste it here i am changing the name from testing funder to testing okay providing salary as 36000 and age as 28000 okay now what we need to do is that we need to save this file as json file okay click save as provide the name i am giving the name as data driven json dot json okay we need to make sure that we are providing dot json extension here okay click on save but before we use this file we need to validate either we have written the correct json or not okay copy this one open the browser and what you need to do is that you need to go to the json formatter dot curious concept dot com and you need to provide your json here okay click on process so now what it will do is that it will validate your json and make the corrections if required okay just copy this one okay go back to the notepad provide this data here click on save now go to the postman collection runner go to the collection remove this csv file provide this json file here and this, this is the json one click on open okay so by default it would recognize that this is a json file but in case if postman doesn't recognize this one you can select it manually from here okay click on preview and you can see that the data has been populated properly attrition one and attrition two okay just click on run but before that clear this from here okay now click on run it has been executed just click on the first post request and go to the request body here you can see that the new data has been passed in this particular request and if i go to the second request here and click on the request body here and you will see the second data has been passed in the request so in this way you can make your apis data driven using the json file thank you so much for watching this tutorial we hope that you have learned something today see you in the next lecture